Okay, so the first way to get your pattern into the playlist is to simply drag it in. Anytime you create a pattern, it will be over here on the left hand side. If you can't see it, then you need to click one of these over here, the one on the left, and you'll start to see all the MIDI patterns in your project. Now with the pattern, all you need to do is hold left click and drag that into your playlist. If you do that, you'll have the pattern, pattern right there. Super, super easy, right? But this is not where it ends because having a full pattern like this is not a great way to structure your song because it has everything in your song in it. Now, there are a few ways you can go about this. You can create a pattern for each specific element of your song while you're creating the beat, which makes it very, very difficult to create the beat. If you're, if you're trying to do this in isolation, then it's gonna be hard to make sure that everything melds together. Another thing you can do is to basically create a pattern, create another pattern, put it in the beat, create another pattern, put it in the song, put, create another pattern, put it in the song and then work on those individually, which is another way, but it's another long way. I'm gonna show you a very short way to do this in a bit. But before I show you how to do that, first of all, if you have your pattern in the playlist, you may still just be playing back the pattern. For example, let's play this back. This is just gonna play the pattern. But that's not what we want. We want to play back our song. In order to do this, you need to come up here and click song mode. Now you can always reselect pattern mode to listen to your patterns and go back to song mode. So get familiar with doing this. But when you click song mode, it actually plays back the song as well as all the patterns included in the song that you've put in the playlist. For example, if you play this, play this back and if we make this like super short, this is what we get. So it just stops. However, if we went back to the pattern, it wouldn't stop no matter what length we make it over here. So that's explained. I hope you understand. Before we get into the hack that's going to change your workflow and make everything a whole lot easier, I've got a special gift for you. If you want to learn how to make your own beats from scratch, you can do so using my easy nine step trap beat making formula. It comes as part of my free course that teaches you how to go from making your melody to mastering your beat. And you can join that course right now by going to jcartarray.com forward slash free trap course or clicking the link in the description. And it's absolutely free. So you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this course because it won't be free and available forever. Link down below, join ASAP. Now let's get back into the video. So the next thing I wanna show you is that you can actually take this one pattern that you're creating your whole beat and all the elements for it on like so. Let's just say those are the elements of our beat. I'm not gonna create a full beat here, but let's say those are our elements, yeah? In order to get all these elements into the playlist, into the song so we can actively edit it the way we want to, we will go over here to the pattern, we'll right click and then we'll go to split by channel. What this does is it splits every single element that you had in that pattern into an individual pattern of its own. So now you can add these to the playlist and you can structure your beat using these instead of having the full pattern in one, which limits your ability to edit anything. Now, when you have this separated, now I can say, oh, maybe I don't want the claps to come in until the fourth bar. Maybe I don't want the hi-hats to come in until the eighth bar and so on and so on. It just gives you the ability to actually structure your beat. If you have everything in one pattern, you have the same thing going on throughout the entire beat. It becomes a very boring beat with no dynamics and no one wants to use that. The last thing I wanna teach you before you go is you can actually paint your pattern in. And in order to do that, you basically need to select the pattern that you you want to paint somewhere else and then just click using the paint tool so if i want more keys over here i can click on the key pattern and then click over here so click click over here want more claps click click over here that's how it's done this is all you need in order to understand how to use patterns in fl studio how to bring them into your song bring them into your playlist and actually structure your beats and if you want your beats to be half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage grab my beat mixing template link down below if you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make let me know in the comment section down below check out that video next and i'll see you in the next one peace out